Did you know Sonora Louise Smart Dodd established Father's Day? She wanted Father's Day to fall on her father's birthday being 5 June, but it was pushed to the third Sunday of June by the Spokane Ministerial Alliance, who are a nonprofit organization. When Sonora's father, William Jackson Smart, returned to his farm after the Civil War ended in 1865, he married his first wife, Elizabeth Harris. Together, they had three children. Thirteen years after his marriage to Elizabeth, she died leaving him widowed. He then married Ellen Victoria Cheeks Smart, a widowed mother of three, in 1880. Together, they had six children. Ellen passed away giving birth to her sixth child. In total, there were 12 children. Sonora's father did not remarry nor give the children away, which was common back then. He continued working and played both the role of father and mother to all 12 children. Sonora, being the eldest child of William and Ellen, did help her father with household tasks and looking after her younger brothers. After hearing a church sermon about the newly organized and recognized Mother's Day, she felt the urge for fathers to be honored as she held her father in high regard. The first Father's Day was celebrated on 19th of June, 1910 in Washington. Just nine years later, Sonora's father passed away. In 1972, President Nixon established a permanent National Father's Day every year. At the age of 96, Sonora died on 22nd March, 1978 in Spokane, Washington.